All right, Charles here, here to show you my version of a solar collector. Use some scrap 2x4s, some plywood laying around the house, and a sheet of glass out of a large storm window. I've got 63 feet of half inch copper piping on a 20 gauge copper sheet with a whole bunch of little elbows soldered together so it just kind of winds back and forth, back and forth, and then squished them all together so it kind of made this funky zigzag pattern. I initially started with some three quarter inch hose ends because I thought I'd use garden hose but through the course of research found out that garden hoses flow way too much water for you to get good heat transfer. So trip to the hardware store, got a couple of fittings down to a 5 16 hose and here I got a little bitty motor that I got off of eBay. It's basically just a little water pump for like an ice maker or an ad pump for a Okay, my brain just went blank. It's a little bitty water pump. And because I hate paying electricity, I have that little bitty pump run by two more solar panels. Free power of the sun. Free power of the sun. Hey, I ain't paying for any this anymore. Turned the uh, hot tub down last night, so it's sitting at 100 degrees. Let's check our temperature. Ooh, hot, hot. And our output is 120 degrees. So I'm getting a temperature rise of 20 degrees at approximately 2 liters per minute. So a gallon every 2 minutes of 120 degrees. I'll let all you rocket scientists out there figure out that BTU flow rate conversion thingy, whatever it's called. But further proof that even an ex-marine with only half a brain can get free power from the sun. Thank you.